So task number two is going to be to push uh, the image that we just built to to Docker Hub, right? So we're gonna we're gonna be running our containers in a separate machine. It's not going to be on Cloud Nine. That's why I'm gonna you know first push to to Docker Hub, and then I'm gonna go to that machine and pull the image there. Now for us to to push the image to to Docker Hub, there's something we need to uh, need to bear in mind. So if I do Docker images. The name of my image is dd-fe, yeah? But for me to push to Docker Hub, I need to include the, my username and the image name, yeah? So my username is uh, the Dojo series. So then this means that the image name should be the Dojo series slash dd-fe, right? Otherwise, if I try to push this, so if I do Docker push efe, and say denied because if you don't specify a username, that's basically like the main. Um, how can I call that? We call the index, right? So that's that's the official ripples, you know. So for for us, we all have usernames, but the if you don't specify anything, that's the official ones, right? So that's why you're not going to be able to push unless you specify your username. Now there are two main ways we can do this. We can either build the image again and use a different name or we can just re-tag the image. So let's just learn how we can re-tag an image. We're gonna do Docker tag, specify the current name, which is ddfe. And then we, we specify the username, which is in my case, is the dojo series slash ddfe. And then if I do a Docker images, we can see that there is a new tag dojo series dot uh, dd def fe and so this 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 is the one that we need to push to docker hub right now if i do docker push and then actually let me just bring it up and do a docker push here so what's gonna happen so it still says denied and the reason why it's denied is because i first need to log into my account right because otherwise everyone will be put be able to push to everyone's account so if you want to log in, and I'm not, I'm not saying to log in, you know, in the browser. You need to log in via the the Docker CLI. And so if I do Docker, uh, Docker login, username. Okay, so I pushed everything now. So everything is in Docker Hub. Let's go back here. Now the flag, so the flag is, so there are, this, this is the match that we're going to get after doing Docker push. So we need to get a few components of that message. So first, so the first word before colon, that's latest, which is the, the image, image tag. If I chose another tag, you'd see something different here. So let's uh, do the flag. So dev slope CTF latest, and then colon. The second thing after that is digest. Digest. Third one is something before the hash, which is this one here. SHA-256. Hold on. And then the last thing is something before a size, which is exactly the word size. All right. So that, I believe that was the flag. Let me submit to make sure everything is okay. Okay. So I missed something. One second. Let's see here. Oh, I know what it is. This is um, case sensitive. So it needs to be CTF all over case. I think that's what I missed. Yeah. All right. There it is. Okay. So that's the, the flag for, for task number two.